Well, see? Hello and welcome to to this tutorial. It's uh, video number one after we've uh, shown the overview. And we're going to create a project that we're going to launch uh, launch it here. I used the third person template. And let's go. I'll start a projectile straight away. It's an actor. You can see it has movement and all that. It's rendered. Blah blah blah. Maybe. Okay, like this. Alright, let's begin with something simple. Uh, that is adding a static mass component. Pump and adding it as well a uh, movement component like that movement component it's called but I don't know if that's a component or not I think it is but anyways we're going to add it if we wanted to have some 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 speed already uh, let's go ahead All right, let's add uh, a mesh to our static mesh component. Let's use let's use this one here, shapes, shapes, and this cone here. Yeah, what? Uh, well, here. Okay, that's it. Let's try it into the uh, into the. Uh, into the um, the level. Well, it's kind of big, so it's kind of big. So we're going to make it smaller. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, not first, well, whatever. And um, yeah, well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna spawn it from the uh, pawn. Well, I'm gonna take the parameters of the uh, of the uh, movement, which is the movement, uh, initial speed, set it to 500, maybe, max speed 1000, in case it bounces, let's now make it go very, very far away. Um, yeah, that should be it. Let's drag and drop it into the level and see if it works. Let's just simulate. I don't know if it, if it will, well, and I'm going to do that the rotation follows the, uh, well, rotation follows the velocity. This way it's going to, to, to have some direction. Okay, let's simulate if we can. Okay, it works. It jumps around. Well, but let's do something else to make it much nicer. Let's rotate it on the x-axis. Well, I mean the... Uh, well, let's make that it goes straight. Yeah, straight. It's like this. Simulate. No. It's like that in the other side. Okay. Uh, with you, I don't know. Should it go now? With this? Yeah, I know it's fine, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Simulate. Whee. Oh, there's two now. Yeah, there's two. Let's do them. Okay. This thing accomplished. Now let's spawn it when, whenever we press a key. Um, well, let's not add a new uh, input. Well, let's add an input. Let's add an input. Then, if I look back into this project, I will know that I added new inputs. Uh, let's say shoot brush. Shoot brush. 
Uh, let's assign a key P. P yes, asking for Pennet or whatever. Uh, and table. Okay, um, I don't remember the name. I assigned it. So I'm going to check it real quick. Sh should proc. Okay. This should be fine. I should go here. And even even graph and shoot pro input. I'm gonna stop uh, recording here to take a break. All right, break is taken. Now let's proceed. Um, I'm gonna use spawn actor. This is not replicated, so it's single player. So. If you try this on multiplier, it's probably not going to work very well. Something to do, but not very well. Um, Rog, I just want to drop oh, where, where, um, well, obviously, um, you get actor location, so that would be the location of. Of the uh, protect the character. Let's add it some uh, some T picked or whatever. I don't know how to call it. And um, let's add a, a rotation. What rotation should we should the protect off from? This this rotation. Okay, the owner self. This is the owner. Let's add it just in case, because the engine sometimes does things in the background with the owner, and we don't even know it. Okay, this should be doing something whenever we press press P. Maybe some. I should use some. Hmm? Ah, that's new. That's new. I need to translate to vector. Uh, multiply by by no a float. I'm gonna make it a float. Float. Uh, make float. No. Make float. Yeah, that's it. And um, fifty but fifty numbers, fifty units, and multiply. Multiply. Can I multiply with float? What the? That's a little bit of a problem. Well, it's cast into third. Hmm. No idea. Well, let's multiply the the, the float by the big. Okay, yeah. Now, holy moly, that's new. Um, okay, now it's going to be a, a little bit more forward. Okay, now we just need to press P and see what happens. Uh, that's simulating. I have no idea if when you simulate, can you do input? No. Well, I don't know if it even worked. So, uh, viewport, I uh, press P. Okay. We see the yeah, protect all going away, but there's no collision. Let's fix that real quick. And to fix this, we go to collision and local dynamic. Well, hmm. I have no idea how to. Well, but it's not important for this. Um, yeah, it's not very important for now. Like, it should... Uh, well, it should... be uh, bouncing and all that stuff, but... I know there's a way, but... it's not important. We, all we want to do is... draw the trajectory, don't we? Well, uh, so that is for... that's it for this tutorial. The projector gets uh, sh shot, and... in the next tutorial, we're going to see how 
how to draw this trajectory. See ya.